got a call this morning here on the telephone. I spoke to a man down in the van. He asked me would I take the dog, and I told him I would. Well, we do the best we can for them all. For everyone that take that dog. Not everybody, you know yourself. We had another call where we took three dogs. A samurai hosting a black sheep dog cross. And there actually three dogs and one of them was a cop. I feel like Ben Hur here. You know? But uh, it's a nice, quaint little pub. I personally feel that the visibility of pounds or the historical association that dog pounds have with you know dangerous dogs or dogs that have been worrying sheep or are or, or just troubled dogs is not always necessarily the truth. There are quite a lot, I would say 70 to 80 percent of the dogs that I see coming through the pound that I have to euthanize myself every week uh, would make ideal pets. We have the collection for the dogs to, is comes when we when we're kind of have enough to warrant the expense. So we have a, a walk-in freezer where we keep the, 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 the euthanized dogs until such time as we can get an approved haulier to take the dogs away to the approved rendering plant. Last year, approximately 14,000 dogs were, 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 were euthanized or destroyed in, in Ireland. Our pound is such that we take in dogs for, for a specific five-day period, uh, and if they're not um, retrieved, they're euthanized. Uh, you want to go on another end of the day? Hold on, we'll get your phone in a minute. The dog warden will, will, will go into the, the pound and bring out the dog to me and uh, there's a table um, in, the, in the pound which the dog is put onto and uh, I'll clip, clip the leg up to expose the mane and then we'll insert the, the injection.